Bobby Rahal also has one IndyCar victory, but uh, he has three IndyCar titles, including this year's crown. Rather than uh, resting on his laurels, the Miller driver is changing chassis for next year and began testing this past week at Phoenix International Raceway, as Neil Kassebaum reports. This past IndyCar season saw Bobby Rahal enter the racing arena with a lot of questions to be answered. The biggest one was how would he fare as not only a driver, but also as the owner of his own team. As Daryl Waltrip can probably tell you, or Alan Kowicki, when, it's, when, you, when, you're, when your name's on the team, you know, you got an obligation to people that, uh, it, uh, you know, you better get with the program and fast. And uh, I think it was better for me. And um, so just, you know, we worked uh, hard and, uh, you know, uh, you, not that you ever race for, you race to win. Uh, and the prize money comes along with that. But I think more than anything, it's I just felt a, a big obligation to my crew to, uh, to give 100%, and I think that was the difference. Now the Ohio resident plans to top his performance of this past season by winning the 93 title in a car built by his team. So far, the car has shown to be very good. In fact, better in some cases than, uh, than my Lolo. You know, we've back-to-backed it on, on a number of occasions, uh, and it's shown better. So, I, you know, I think that it's, yeah, there's a risk, but... If you went out and bought a Lola, who's to say that that's going to be the best car out there? I, I think for the amount of money that you put into either case, you might as well do your own thing. So the testing continues from now right up until spring of next year, when the signal of, gentlemen, start your engines, marks the beginning of another IndyCar season. I'm Neil Kassebaum, reporting for Race Day.